All right, guys, it is currently just before 7 o'clock in the morning, Saturday. So uh, I just woke up, got dressed, and now it's time to throw all the cars in the car and uh, it's going to head out and start heading south to Bloomington, Illinois, where PT's RC Raceway is. All right, carrying the last load out now. It's 140 miles to Bloomington. Yeah, I got my trusty cooler. You, you can't go nowhere without a cooler. But, uh, yeah, it's 140 miles to Bloomington, so let's get after it. We just hopped on the interstate. Let's see, we only got 113 more miles to go. Coming up on Interstate 80. Actually, I, I learned something cool the other day. Uh, all the uh, east-west roads, uh, interstates, are uh, numbered evenly. So, like, you got Interstate 90, Interstate 80, 70, those are your major ones. And then in between, you got the little ones like uh, 88, which we just went over. That's an even one. Now, right now, I'm going south. All the north-souths are odds. But they, uh, all the major ones are uh, end in five. You'll, you know you got, like, 65, 75. But uh, right now, I'm going south on 39. And that's odd. I, I just thought that was cool. Also, we're up here, we're coming up to the uh, old LaSalle Speedway. I don't know, it's still there, but don't sound like there's going to be any racing happening there. I miss that place. I practically grew up there. This exit right up here. But anyhow, oh, there's the bridge. I remember that when I was little. Always seeing that. Pit stop gonna fill up on gas, grab something for breakfast, and uh, go take a leak, refill all the tanks, and get back on the road. Gonna head up here to the Love's Truck Stop. They got a Hardee's in there. So Hardee's is what's for breakfast. Alright, hitting back then to the road. Well, that didn't make no sense, but you got the gist of what I meant. Merging onto the interstate right now. Got myself some breakfast. I am dining on a chicken biscuit this morning, in case you were wondering. All right, hitting I-55. This is where I-39 dead ends. We're in the big town of Bloomington now, or just outside of Bloomington. Just got across the town. All right, hopping off here onto Interstate 74, and then taking the first exit onto Route 51, which is right here, Bloomington, Decatur. It's gonna go north into Bloomington, not that far. We are just a couple miles from the track, if a couple miles at all. And we are pulling up to the legendary PT's Raceway. I got here a little early today because it seems that they've been opening doors early lately, so we'll see if they let me in. All right, I've arrived here at the legendary PT's Raceway. Going to go unload the rest of my stuff, and then I'm going to pit right there. Brought a couple things in. This place is bad fast. Practice both cars a little bit. That left rear camber link change on the street stock helped a lot. I got this late model way too soft, so I'm stiffening it up and trying some new things. Well, I finally got the late model rolling through the corner, and I stripped the spur gear. I thought I had a loose slipper, but I was just chewing the spur. So I got a spare, luckily, but it's my last spare. All right, they got the heat sheets posted. I'm starting in race 11, no 12, and what's that, 15. All right, well, I got a little distracted and uh, busy, and I wasn't, I didn't film a whole lot, but uh, anyway, after I ended up uh, practicing the cars, I 
I worked on the late model all night, got the late model better. The street stock got a lot better. I uh, ended up uh, in the starting fourth in the C main with the late model. And early on, uh, like five laps in, I made it up to second, the top two bump. And I ended up riding around in second. I had third right there. And I jumped the banking and ended up uh, third place got around me and I finished third. I cannot complain at all because that late model got so much better throughout the night. Every time it hit the track, it got better. And uh, I'm, I'm just excited to get another day on that car. That That's going to be awesome. But then in the buggy street stock, I was scheduled to start third in the C main and they just only three cars showed up so they just bumped all three i started last in the c main or in the a main and uh i was going for the lead about halfway through the main they were running four minute mains and i got sent i avoided a wreck by going high and i got sent over the wall and i ended up sliding t-boning the uh track entrance where they bring the grader in and the or you know all the track prep equipment I T-boned that so hard that my battery strap broke and the battery came out of the car and I pulled off because I'm not breaking more stuff. Dented the body pretty good. It looked like I wrapped it around a telephone pole. But uh, anyway, that's not too bad. So uh, now, uh, oh, and then uh, while I was waiting for my uh, main, I... Uh, I forgot to pick up the camera, but I did go ahead and I brought my Slash Street Stock with. In the morning, I'm heading up to Beaver Dam, Wisconsin to race up there at the James E. Bate Raceway. Little dinky bull ring. I, I like going there. But uh, I got that ready. I changed the gear, changed shocks. It, that car's ready to go. All I got to do now in the morning is when I get there, I got to switch over my SC Mod from uh, Illinois B Mod rules to Wisconsin Mod rules, and then we will be set. All right, it's currently 10 after 6 in the morning, Sunday. Uh, yeah, I uh, went home, took a shower, took a nap, and back on the road again, heading north to the James E. Bate Raceway. Last night, I don't remember if I had mentioned it, but I ended up uh, pulling off in the buggy street stock main. It was a rough main, and I broke a battery strap. I got put in the wall so hard, so... Anyway, hoping for a better day today. The uh, little track usually creates uh, some interesting racing. So, we're headed north, getting after it. Alright, I just got off of Wisconsin 151. And right up here, the building straight ahead that this road dead ends into, is the James E. Bay and Tackle. And in the back is the James E. Bay Raceway. Love this little joint. All right, got the pit area all set up. Out here at the James E. Bait Raceway, I took a couple practice laps, got the cars dialed in, or close. This is a small little joint. I like it though. Couple of kids practicing. Alright, the first round's over. Got the cars ready to go. Gonna go check out where I qualified. Late model race going on right now. Round two.
Anyway, I ended up second in SE Mod. Third in Buggy Street Stock. That's going to be a good race. We are all real close there. And in Slash Street Stock, I was third. So, we'll see how this goes. Round two coming up. All right, the second round of qualifying is over. I qualified the Slash Street Stock there in the middle on the pole. I believe the modified is second, and I don't know where I sit in Buggy. We'll go check that out right now. The Slash Street Stock Slash Sportsman B Main is on the track now. That clear car is the leader. Only the winner transfers. Oh, lead change. I'm starting pull for that. I'm starting pull there and six there. And the clear car takes it. Okay, so Drake, Chris, Cody, Mike. Take a lap, roll them out.
All right, everyone's packed up. I'm all packed up, ready to go. Everyone's left now, but uh, I ended up uh, second in the buggy street stock after being taken out while leading. I almost got my way back to the lead. The modified, that was a really good race. I ended up second there. Uh, ran really good with Bud Rettner. Me and him were neck and neck, but he ended up getting through lap traffic just a hair better than me but we finished both on the same lap within a straightaway of each other. That was a pretty good race. And then with the slash street stock, or sportsman as it's called up here, I ended up taking the feature win. This is my first feature win in a couple months, so much needed. Good competition up here. I uh, guess I'll pack up the car. i got to put the remote away still and head on home. So I guess until next time, I will see you guys. Thanks for riding along with me.